Hi guys, I'm Planet Mad Sheep and the fireworks display is still going on, causing havoc in the city. This is episode 10 of Let's Play SimCity and we are working towards the Funshine Amusement Park. You can only prevent city fires, have 10 fires extinguished, yeah blah de blah de blah. See I don't think this area over here is covered by the fire trucks. Hmm. Let's get another one in there. Just to be on the safe side, hopefully one will go to that fire. Come on, please. Yep, got there. Ah, oh, Mayor Panic Mad Sheep, so glad you can join us. Just think of all the dreadful misdeeds and crimes that we will commit. Bless your cold, villainous heart. I'm Dr. Stone, Vu's right hand man. Our first task at hand is to turn this innocent little town into a breeding ground for crim criminals. Let's get more polluting factories around here and do whatever it takes to get, um, to get more criminals in the city. I must also ask you to build a tower for Dr. Vu and his henchmen. He's quite tired of running his operation out of the local coffee shop. So I said that I was gonna do Dr. Vu and Maxis Man and that I will. So very soon we will do that. But for now the fire trucks have curbed the fires and where is Dr. Vu? It can't be in city specialization can it? I don't think it is. Where's Dr. Vu? It might be. Is it in a landmarks? Nope. Not sure where Dr. Vu is. Oh yeah, I, I've got an idea. Is he in here? Vu Tower, 120,000. You can keep that. <laughs> no way. So, how much simoleons we've got? 41,000 at the moment. It's quite nice. Building up towards the amusement parks. I think we should put more people in. Build the broads through there. And there. Get some residents moving in. Might be an idea to upgrade the roads. Let's see the happiness of these guys. Density is not that much. Is that because of the roads? I'm not sure. We've got demand for commercial and industrial. How's the trade depot doing? I'm just going to add another freight shipping warehouse like that. Just before it gets full. And another truck. Industry should be happy about that. So like uh, low low density streets. Do that. Get a straight road coming onto that, and then more industry. More industry, which means more jobs for workers. Sweet. We could probably have industry here as well. Right. So. Look at all the happiness. We've got plenty of abandoned houses because of the fire. Right, okay. So abandoned houses mean homeless people. So what I'll do, I'll be nasty and not let them move in. Show us how many homeless people we've got. How do we look? Here we go. So we've got one tourist in the city. Lots of workers. Ah, oh, two tourists. We've got plenty of students at the school. And yeah, quite a lot of people dossing at home. At 9.26am. Right, so abandoned building. We'll get rid of you.
So here we go. Get rid of them. Got 50,000 simoleons now. Mm, we'll keep the bonds for now. We'll just raise the taxes a little bit. It might not be favoured too much, but what the hell, we'll do it anyway. After all, we are the mayor. We are in charge. So, I'm quite excited for this amusement park. So we've got the fire in, we've got the clinic. That's nearly at capacity, so before it is, let's just put another waiting room. Get a shot ambulances in. Don't forget the sign. And that's okay for now. There's plenty of room in the, the school, so I don't need to worry about that too much. So we get a public library in over here. There. That should make people happy. Mass transit. We don't need any more of that. Maybe get a few more buses. Look where all the buses are. Same place. It's typical. Just typical. Cool. So we're down to 11,000. The public library. That's just at all my money. At the time, it seemed good. But now, no. Not so much. Airship hangar. Cool. So we need the Department of Transport to get that. We need it to get the trains, boats and planes. There's nobody in the region at the moment so not too worried about that but it looks like the guy over there started building. So we'll go check. Let's see what wonders we have here. Absolutely diddly squat. So it's back to my city we go. When it decides to load. So we need more residents in. We need more commercial. Perhaps we could do like a big circle around here and do it all commercial. Circle roads. We'll have a high density avenue. Is there a way of doing this? To have it exactly st straight. Yeah, like that. Let's see how big it is. Can... There we go. I think that's okay for now, then we can do additional circles going around the outside, around the outside, around the outside, yes. And then yeah, that'd be pretty cool because people would come into the city, down the big long straight, we'll have all the amusement parks, all the gambling, gambling, hmm, I like the sound of gambling. Can we afford on these? 15 grand. Right, we'll go on to the gambling in a bit, but as I was saying, People will come into the city and we can get something like Big Ben or the Eiffel Tower. Somewhere. We could get some in there. Empire State Building doesn't fit. Or maybe that. That fits just perfectly. Cool, cool, cool. Oh, Big Ben, yeah. Since I'm from England. Big Ben is gonna be in there. Oh, Statue of Liberty. Can you put Stab Statue of Liberty in the water? No. So, Big Ben it's gonna be. Although, what you can do if you want, in the comments, if you want to see any of these in the middle there, let me know which one you think should go there. Obviously it's got fit. There's a Leaning Tower of Pisa. That's a pretty big cathedral. Don't want that in there. 
So yeah, so we've got more commercial coming in. They should be happy about that. And what we'll do is just do an extra road coming off the residential area. And we'll do it. We'll just do it this for now and then we'll upgrade later. Lakshaw. Yeah. Then we can have commercial going up all the way around there actually. That sounds pretty cool to me. Yeah. And then we can have the, if it fits there. Wow, it's a pretty big amusement park. Hmm, nice. So gambling, gambling house, 15 grand. Yeah, okay, so let's see the happiness of the people. Most people are happy. Um, likely to move out, I don't like the look of that. Likely to expand, so these roads here can be expanded. They can be increased in density. Are you all ready for this? Like that. In fact, this whole area here can be increased in density. And I've run out of money. Hopefully I'll see these expanding now. Because they are likely to. Now, shall we see why these aren't? We're making a lot of profit. Our business needs more tourists. Okay. Abandoned because of no shoppers. Tumbleweed. My favourite mayor. Have 24 hours of 75% or better approval rating. Cool. That is cool. I'm not sure where the approval rating is though. Is it in here? Yeah, whatever. I'm waiting for a crowded bus. That's because they're all going around together, there they are. No passengers on. So we've got one building there upgrading. Sweet. Maybe these angled roads here are just not what we need. We need if we're gonna do grids we need to do it properly. But I do want it a bit arty. Now I'll put that road there, will I still be able to do this? Um Maybe we could, the outer rings could be How does this work? Hmm. Do it like that. Hmm. So how are these shops doing? Let's have, just have a quick look. Close needs workers, so that you know what that means. We need some residents. This city is so sophisticated. That's funny, they're saying the same things. Okay. Is that because of the grids? Is that a bit boring? Oh no, we've got an injury here. Call the ambulance. Call 911. How's the industry doing? Tech level. We need the, the college, don't we? 
we need the college. So we need the Department of Education for that. And we need to get to 15,000 residents before we can do that. We're at max capacity in the school. Oh. Okay, so we shall put this here. And while we're at it, save up for another bus. Should be okay. We've got all this area, what we could do something with. can do, we can just upgrade these roads, that, that road, Ugh, I'm totally sick, the clinic's literally across the road pal, just go, just walk, business is good, density isn't that good, right what we need to do, it's been telling us for ages, to get a parking, so what I'll go for is a soccer field, a football field, and then that can go nowhere because it's too big. So I have an edge pack, pond, pond maybe, medium wealth. I can go there. Hopefully, the happiness will go up. People will expand. The thing I found with this game is the healthier they uh, the more wealthy they are, the less people that live in the house, whereas the low wealth people kind of all bunch up together and stick together as a family. So kind of keeping it low wealth is it might be a good idea. Let's have a rides playground. And then we'll pour it over here. And it destroyed two pretty big houses. <laughs> Never mind. Whatever. Okay, let's just speed it up a bit. Let's get some more money in the bank. Pretty nice looking city. I think I've broken my leg, somebody call an ambulance. Anybody got a Tesho? Some nice houses coming up here. Harsh reality for rent. <laughs> Industry is looking pretty cool. How's the trade depot doing? Alright. Gambling. Yeah, I know. Let's get the gambling in. Let's try and earn some more revenue from this. We certainly will start building up on the tourism, which is cool. And we'll put the gambling house on this street. We'll put it on the commercial side. We'll put it there. And what can I get next to it? Because you know, Marquee don't really want one of them. We'll have the cheap rooms. Nickel slots. Always good fun. And blackjack tables. Yeah, blackjack tables we'll have. And um, we'll just keep that for now. What's this? What's he saying? Welcome to your new gambling house. Gambling Hall. Casinos attract tourists, shoppers, and sometimes criminals. We'll have Maxis Man soon, don't you worry? If you're looking forward to seeing Maxis Man and Vu, Mr. Vu, hit the like button for me. 
Also put it in the comments as well as to which one you're looking forward to the most. Also don't forget this centre circle here. What attraction would you like to see there? What landmarks would you like to see? Big Ben? Looking pretty cool there. Or oh, would you like to see... Not that one. This? The Geralda. We could have the Globe Theatre. Leaning Tower of Pisa. Statue of Liberty. Washington Monument. Or we could have Willis Tower. Which one would you like to see in that center circle? Put it in the comments for me. And the one with the most votes will go in the middle. Looking good, we're at 37,000. Nobody's really complained about the tax yet, have they? So I'm just gonna keep quiet about that one until they do. Everything's looking good. All right, now we can take the bus to get around town. Yeah. Have they got bus stops? Oh, power, 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 power. Let's get some more wind turbines in. And don't forget the sign. Got to have the sign. How's the water looking? Oh, still pretty cool. It's clean. Sewage is being treated. All good. And yeah, garbage dump is pretty good too. Let's get some garbage tr trucks in there. One and two for now. Down to 27,000. Yeah. Looking good. People are protesting about the crime. People were protesting about the crime. <laughs> I thought that was abandoned then. It looks pretty dingy that, doesn't it? All the busy life of the city. Skylines pr looks pretty cool. Be good when we get some big skyscrapers in this one. So we've got plenty of trees in the city. Looking good. 42,000. What's this saying? More tourists want to come to your... S than your current transportation system can handle. Add or expand your mass transit options to serve more tourists. Hmm. I was just wondering that because there's nobody in the region. Will a bus terminal actually bring anybody in? Does it generate people? Hmm. I can't get one of them to get the uh, Department of Transport anyway. Yeah, looking good. 51,000. So, in the next episode, guys, I'm going to end this one here. But yeah, in the next episode, we should get enough money for the Funshine Amusement Park. We'll put that one in. And then we'll continue to build the city. Get some skyscrapers in. Don't forget to leave in the comments what you want in that centre circle. And... Yeah, I've been Panic Med Sheep. Thank you for watching. See you in the next episode, guys. Bye bye.